<clears throat> so I finally got this 1968 Evan Rude running. It's an 85 horsepower. It's electric shift. It was it was pretty awful. I went through a couple of these. These are the uh, amplifiers, power packs. Both of them are junk. I toss those, and I'd heard about people putting automotive ignitions on these. They're absolutely right. It's actually super easy. You just go get a regular coil. Make sure it's got a resistor in it. Otherwise, you got to buy an external one. So it'll say internal or external resistor needed if it doesn't have one on the inside. And you can get these at AutoZone real cheap. A condenser. And that's pretty much it. You just got to get your 12 volts that's coming in. Put that on the plus side of the coil. Then you're going to have a condenser that needs to go to the minus side to any ground, which is grounded there. This goes to the points here. You can see that. That's through the points. And then you run a ground from the points, which I have grounded right here. And uh, it ended up working pretty good. Uh, it works out really well. I have the points set at 10 thousandths, which is what they were before, so I didn't really have to mess with those. I know you need a resistor. It's pretty important. If you don't have one, it's going to burn up the points. And they're fairly pricey on these, and you don't want to burn through those. Um, yeah, that's all I have. I just wanted to show people how easy that was. Uh, it's actually a super easy, cheap fix. It's better than paying 300 bucks for one of those things. That's probably going to blow up on you anyway. Uh, thanks.